All hail a bit, it's your boy Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. Today, we are diving into the house of John Varvatos. We are reviewing Dark Rebel. So there's the presentation for Dark Rebel. You got the black bottle, the black wicker. Pretty simple presentation and dark for a dark rebel. Now, man, this fragrance is loaded with a ton of stuff. You have juniper, tobacco, Mexican vanilla, pepper, rum, sugar cane, and beaver ass goo. Yep, you heard me, beaver ass goo. I'll talk to you guys about it later. Now this is a sweet and smoky scent that has a bit of spice and booziness. Now this was an interesting purchase for me. I went to the mall, I smelled it, I walked out the store, let my wife smell it, walked right back in, and I bought it from Macy's or Dillard's, I don't know, one of those places a few years ago, and this has been in my fragrance rotation for quite some time now. Now, despite the fact that I like this fragrance, I don't think that this is the average design of fragrance. This has a different type of uniqueness to it, something that you might more or less find in a niche quality. Now, I tend to like this fragrance, but I don't think it's for everybody. Now, to me, this is my favorite fragrance from the house. Now, I've been tried a lot of their fragrances. I own a few, but this is my favorite fragrance from the house of John Varvatos. I feel like they've done a lot of things right with this one here. To me, this fragrance is for those who are bold, confident, those who are masculine. And honestly, I feel like if Terry Mugler would have done pure leather this way, it would have been done right. But instead he made that shit, and that shit is shit, and this shit is good. And why do I say shit? Because it's made with a beaver's ass. So what am I talking about? Beavers have glands in their ass that secrete castoria. All right, so what they do is they secrete that when they want to mark their territory. So when your ladies out and about, before she leaves, you just spray it with a little dark rebel and mark your territory, okay? Now this is sometimes included in ingredients of fragrances. That's nasty. Well, it's no different than inventors having whale vomit, or is it? I think it's just the same. You comment below and let me know what you think. Now I can't sugarcoat this as much as I would like to. I know you guys would call me out. The performance on this is terrible. Okay, I get about one to two hours on a performance from a projection and longevity standpoint, and that's not really the best, man. This fragrance smells really nice. I wish it lasts a lot longer than it does because it's here and then it's gone. Now let's say you have the perfect scenario. You're in a perfect environment. You have sub 60 temperatures. It's cold outside and you can wear this fragrance four hours maximum. You're gonna get it from this, but it's not likely, so don't hold your breath because you might die. From a compliment standpoint, my wife likes this fragrance, but when you compare them, she loves Tuscan leather. She likes this. But there are two different spectrums of the price point. So if you want to get something that is going to smell masculine, it's going to give you a mysterious vibe, then this is a way to go. And you can save a lot of coin by doing it. Now, I haven't gotten any compliments wearing this fragrance, but it doesn't take away from how much I like this juice. Now, you can purchase this online. I would tell you to purchase it online versus going to a store, even if you have to wait because it goes for about $33 online versus the 70, 80 bucks you're going to pay in store. So that is a huge saving. Now, if you don't want to wait, you can purchase this at most big box retailers. And again, it's also available online, available at Notino and Fergusnet.com. You can check all those spots out. I'll find out which one has the best price and link it below for you guys. Now, where do you wear this fragrance? This to me is strictly a fall and winter time fragrance. I would more so wear this when you're going to be in a leather jacket, some boots with brass knuckles and ready to fuck somebody up in your dark rebel stance. But no, I, I would tell you to wear this more on a casual type thing. I won't say that this is going to be a upscale work scent. You can wear this if it's cold outside and it's frigid and you're, you know, you're in a business setting, this will work. But I'm not sure you're gonna get a ton of compliments when you wear this one. But I do like the scent. It stays close to home. It's not going to last forever. So if you just wanna make a statement when you walk in somewhere, then you can make that happen. On a scale of one to 10, I'm giving this one a seven and a half. I definitely think this is a solid fragrance. The best offering from the house in my personal opinion. And the only one that I typically grab for out of the fragrance that I have from this company. So that's my takes on this. If you have this fragrance or if you have Dark Rebel Rider, if you want to see anything on that one, comment below. Let me know what your thoughts on that. I'm your boy, Big Bear B. Like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. And we back again. And vroom, vroom. Ride your ass over to the goddamn subscribe button. And hit the goddamn bell too.